Ito tinatago ko kasi ako bidulungan ng mga intelligence sa military. Ito ang nangyari sa Pilipinas. Sabi ni Pinoy, he authorized Trillanes to go to China to negotiate. I really do not know what. He does not want to tell us. Sixteen times and after that, we lost the Scarborough show. Ngayon, bakit ako nagtatanong? Ayaw ko kasi, no, ha? the out of respect to sa I defer to the office of the president ayaw ko ba napipilitan ako ngayon sabihin nilabas na rin ni because there has to be somebody who will answer for this bakit na panahon na kinuha na yung shoal there was no active movement sa armed forces bakit hindi nagpadala baski isang barko lang at sitahin Amin yan! Anong ginagawa mo? China. Walang ginawa. Ang order was to stand down. May stand down rin, huwag kayong maghawak ng armas. Anak na. Pinagbili nila ang bayan natin. So what was the system trips of Trillanes? What was it all about? What was it all? Anong nangyari? Yan ang ayaw ko sanang bitawan kasi mainit ang mga sundalo. Baka hindi pa yun makaalis tuloy before kung sino manalo, baka magkaroon pa ng upakan dyan somewhere. The back room, negotiation with the Chinese for this carboro. Yes, and the president... And you were telling me about treason. Remember? Yes, and the president answered... Answered you, answered you directly that he authorized me. He told it in your face, Mr. President. What? Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's correct. I, 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 yes, I accepted I, that oh, because precisely. I did not know that uh, you were authorized. But the fact is that I asked you, whom did you talk to in China? Um, I don't need to report to the Senate President, uh, Mr. President. You have a duty I'm to not, uh, report what obliged. you do as a senator to this uh, chamber. And in fact, you have a, a duty to notify the office of the Senate President when you leave this country to go abroad. But I did and not, the only time that I have authorized you is one time. I do not know how many times you have been to China. My understanding is you have been to China talking to the Chinese government for six times already. Yes. And, uh, and I that you have met them 15 or 16 times. Yes. For what reason? Uh, we do not know. Are you becoming a fifth columnist of the Chinese in this country? Uh, the Senate President is not privy to uh, the backroom uh, channel talks, and I'm not obliged in any way to. I think you have a duty to inform uh, no, the people. I'm not. I'm not uh, I have already informed the people, but not. Uh, not the Senate President. I'm not obliged to report to the Senate President. And all this uh, line of questioning is irrelevant uh, again. And uh, should this uh, line of questioning continue, I will uh, have to say that I will refuse to yield anymore the floor. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. You went to China. You asked the ambassador of the Philippines there, me, Madam Brady, for a meeting, and you said, do not take notes during our conversation, and you called the Secretary of Foreign Affairs a traitor. In fact, you told me that he committed treason. Yes, it was an executive session, and we're not supposed to divulge what's read, happening in you the... You want, I will read into what, the record your conversation uh, with Brady, but, uh, it's and his to notes be, to the Department of Foreign it's Affairs. It's supposed to be a confidential matter. It's, yes, but there's nothing so confidential. It, even in the uh, executive meeting, cabinet meeting, in the... Uh, uh, cabinet meeting in Malacanang. Uh, Mr. President, I will refuse to answer if it's the, if, it, if that's because going to be the line. Because you cannot answer the no, questions I'm going to ask you to about your meeting. In this uh, uh, particular interpretation. Because you cannot answer I the can questions answer, I'm going to ask you. I can answer, you. but I won't be uh, baited into that trap. You met The, the point here Brady. is, Mr. President, uh, this is Mr. President, how I felt. May I request uh, the this gentleman, uh, Mr. President, in that case, I will refuse 
to yield the, the floor anymore well, for that case, uh, any I will read it to, I will and, read it to uh, the record the the record okay. the notes that uh, Mrs. Brady or Ambassador Brady wrote about your conversation with her in Beijing on August 12, 2012. You the want point, me to read the point this? Of order, uh, Mr. President. You want me to read uh, this? A point of what order. is the point of order? Uh, the uh, the, the Senate President uh, may reveal sensitive uh, information uh, mm -hmm. pertaining to uh, foreign relations and national security. And uh, I believe it is out of order in you this session. Uh, uh, teach me session. for the <coughs> parliamentary proceedings. I'm not answerable to anybody the, about what I order, say uh, in this hall. There is a point of order, Mr. President. The Senate President may proceed. All right. And I have here uh, the, uh, the white paper that you've been writing about the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Twelve, seventeen 17 August 2012. We cannot take the hit. It's a coward. Senator Trillanes requested that no notes be taken. That's one. Two, what the Chinese want is to tone down the rhetoric he Sir. met the night before. Mr. President. Mr. With President. the senior Chinese Point of MFA order, Mr. President. officials. A gentleman from the gig. Uh, just a point of uh, inquiry and a point of order. Senator Trillanes had the floor, and uh, he refuses to answer more questions. So the Senate President has all the right to continue and to speak if he rises on a point of personal privilege. Well, but then I will take this. Yeah, yes, Mr. President. We, I'm, my apologies, sir. I'd just like to also mention that um, I am sad that this discussion is taking place, and I understand, sir, the sensibilities. But may I also just uh, put on record that, or ask the, the chair, the Mr. President, that if some of these uh, things we're discussing now affects national security, uh, although I deeply regret that this is happening, I deeply understand, Mr. President, the sensitivities being taken you place. Know, Your Honor, I've been yes, in charge of national <laughs> security in this country before you were born. And uh, I know what I'm talking about. Y yes, Mr. President, I'm just saying that since we are uh, entering an emotional phase of the discussion. No, 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 no I'm not Mr. emotional. Well, the well, truth must be told. Anyway, Mr. President, no one can stop a senator from standing up and, and saying his piece. I so I start this, you know. <laughs> yes, Mr. President. If you start fight with me, then I'll, 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 I'll uh, take you on. Y yes, my, Mr. President, I'm not uh, objecting now because he has the right to take the floor on his own time now. I'm just uh, a, a very humble reminder, sir, that if it is a um, executive session or if this was told in confidence, no, I'm or going this to speak national. to the Filipino you, people President. about this. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, uh, the uh, pre Senate President has been accused by another colleague. I will just read this uh, notes of the, uh, of uh, Mrs. Brady we'll let the about the continue the, uh, this meeting with Trillanes in uh, Beijing, and uh, one. Senator, this is dated 17 August 2012. The, uh, these are notes made by, I have it here with me, the official copy. But I had it enlarged because uh, I have a problem with reading. And I will read it to you. Yes, this, this is my own uh, time now. One, Senator Trillanes requested that no notes be taken. Two, what the Chinese want is to tone down the rhetoric. He met the night before with senior Chinese MFA official, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Three, Senator was initially approached by Executive Secretary. Four, when he got involved, it was in the height of the problem. He had to find out what was happening, so he tried to see whether he was, this was a move of the Americans. He was suspecting the Americans as involved in 
the conflict. You know, it's irrelevant because yes. you are telling falsehoods here. Uh, I uh, take exception to that statement. I am, I am saying you are telling falsehoods here well, because uh, uh, there are records of our proceedings. Well, Mr. President, uh, All right. okay. isn't it a fact that uh, you are angry at me because you were asking me for uh, an additional uh, budget for your co oversight committee and I did not allow it? No, that is a falsehood, All Mr. Right. President. Okay. But the record is, uh, is which such record, now. Which record, Mr. President? Which, re which record, Mr. President? Can, uh, if you want, if you are actually daring uh, uh, this uh, representation, Mr. President, to, for us to take out the list that detailed the actual budget for all the oversight, uh, we can go there. But uh, uh, I'm not inclined to, Mr. President. You know, you know Mr. Senator, I was the one who took you out of the rut where you were imprisoned in Camp Krami. I never did this before. I went out of my way to talk to people so that you can get back here in the Senate and I guaranteed your presence here. But I'm not saying this because Precisely I want you to or any favor to me. Huh? I'm just putting that on record to show the character of each one of us here. Okay, second, I'm sure that you resented my uh, statement when we were in the, Senate, uh, in the cabinet, when you were presenting your uh, supposed position as against the, the position of the Department of Foreign Affairs when President Aquino invited me to attend a cabinet meeting on the Scarborough problem.